Ah, there you are. I've consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. I've consulted my contacts re It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. They're well funded, and they've been able to avoid identification for years. I'm impressed it reached this point. Just don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. Because, even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a Gajal lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. His real name is Gullum I. Gullum I is our inside man at the East Empire Company in Solitude. I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there, shake him down, see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. I can't believe Gullum Eyes mixed up in all this. That Argonian couldn't find his tail with both hands. Don't get me wrong, he could scam a beggar out of his last septum, but he's no mastermind. Trouble? <laughs> he's one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. You have your work cut out for you. You're going to have to buy him off. It's the only way to get his attention. If that fails, follow him and see what he's up to. If I know Gullum I, he's in way over his head you'll be able to use it as leverage. I'm glad to see you're embracing our methods. It would be a waste to lose a contact at the East Empire Company before we had the entire story. Just keep on Gollum Eye's tail, and he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. Gollum Eye works in the East Empire Company warehouse. He helps maintain all of the shipments of goods that goes in and out of solitude. That means he has to pick up the litter from some of the finest goods to grace Skyrim shores. He isn't exactly in the guild, but he pays us a cut of all the stuff he lifts from the warehouse. There are thieves, and then there is Gullum Eye. No honor, no code at all. He'd shake your hand and stab you in the back at the same time. The cut he's supposed to provide the guild has dwindled as of late. He says pickings in the warehouse are slim, but I'm certain he's lying. Keep your eyes on him. He's quite crafty. A mercantile group that has established ports all over Tamriel. They pretty much dominate the whole shipping industry. The Emperor himself supposedly backs them, which means they have fairly unlimited resources. So don't get their feathers in a ruffle. Just head right back to the guild and get the information to Mercer. Nothing else is more important. If you discover Gullum Eyes holding out on us and has more loot stashed away than he claims, we'd find that information quite valuable as well. Good luck in solitude. Keep Gullum Eye alive.
By the order of the yard. Stop right there. All right. But you just watch yourself. Next time I might not... You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Smart man. Now come along with us. Come on in, just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. So, what do we have here? Hmm, let me guess. By your scent, I'd say you were from the guild. But that can't be true, because I told Mercer I wouldn't deal with them anymore. I don't deal in land or property. Now if you're looking for goods, you've come to the right person. Oh, wait. Did you say Golden Glow Estate? Uh, my apologies. I'm sorry to say I know very little about that uh, bee farm, was it? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't be expected to remember every deal I handle. I wonder when they last cleaned them. All right. Had I known this deal would bring me this much trouble, I never would have accepted the gold. I was approached by a woman who wanted me to act as the broker for something big. She flashed a bag of gold in my face and said all I had to do was pay Arangoth for the estate. I brought in the coin and walked away with her copy of the deed. Not at all. I tend not to ask too many questions when I'm on the job. I'm sure you understand. However, I did notice she was quite angry and it was being directed at Mercer Frey. In this business, we rarely deal in names. Our identity comes from how much coin we carry. Look, that's all I know. I never promised you I'd have all the answers. Now, since our transaction is done, I'll be on my way. Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Well, as it turns out, I had a pet Skeever when I was a boy, and he used to wink. They were smaller back then. Varnius Junius stopped by here on his way to court. He was worried about something. I'm sure Falk Firebeard could tell you what. Remember the winking skeever next time your foot's sore. Feel free to make requests. Generally, if you want rumors, you should talk to Corpulus. That said, I did see a visitor pass through on his way to the Blue Palace. Only in that I'm a graduate. I work here at the winking skeever. I would highly recommend it, though. Talk to Viarmo if you're interested. You should think about staying the night. Tools, wares, and weapons. All for sale. I need to get rid of this skooma somewhere. 
We are creatures of the desert. I welcome you, friend. How may I serve you? It is Rissad who owns the three trading caravans that travel the roads of Skyrim. Long ago, I was an orphan on the streets of Corinth. I stowed away aboard a trade ship that brought me here. It was Rissad who found me. He provided the funds to start this caravan and put me in charge of it. I owe him more than I could ever hope to repay. Take a look.
What do you need? I'm wondering if we should leave. Following. I was just hearing things. What was that? Ah!
Let's get this over with. I'll show you a real fight. Is someone there? There's no need to do anything rash. This isn't as bad as it seems. I was gonna tell Mercer about everything, honestly. Please, he'll have me killed. All right, all right. It's Carlia. Her name is Carlia. Mercer never told you about her? Carlia is the thief responsible for murdering the previous guildmaster, Gallus. Now she's after Mercer. Help. No, no. Look, I didn't even know it was her until after she contacted me. Please, you have to believe me. I don't know. When I asked her where she was going, she just muttered, where the end began. Here, take the Golden Glow estate deed as proof. And when you speak to Mercer, tell him I'm worth more to him alive. You needed to know more? I asked her the same thing, and she wouldn't come out and tell me. But now that I know who she is, I'd say she's trying to hit the Thieves' Guild where it hurts. Maven Blackbriar needs Golden Glow's honey for her mead. She's been using the Guild to keep the estate under her thumb. If the owner cuts the Guild out of the picture, he's cutting Maven out of the picture, which she can't afford. If I was Maven, I'd blame the guild for weakening and not being able to handle the place. Exactly. For the guild to survive, they need Maven's support. This Carlia must have spent a lot of time and resources planning this. Consider it a gift to ensure your silence. That thing seems to be bringing me nothing but trouble anyway. Carlia didn't even want it. She wanted to keep the sale a secret. And see how well that went. Now you're speaking my language. Tell you what, if you need any stolen goods fenced, you bring them to me, and I'll pay you good money for them. Consider me your new friend in the north. Now you won't forget to tell Mercy to cooperate. Yeah! 
Gullamai give up any information on our buyer? No, it, it can't be. I haven't heard that name in decades. This is grave news indeed. She's someone I hope to never cross paths with again. Carlia destroyed everything this guild stood for. She murdered my predecessor in cold blood and betrayed the guild. After we discovered what she'd done, we spent months trying to track her down, but she just vanished. Carlia and I were like partners. I went with her on every heist. We watched each other's backs. I know her techniques, her skills. If she kills me, there'll be no one left that could possibly catch her. If only we knew where she was. There's only one place that could be place where she murdered Gallus, a ruin called Snowvale Sanctum. We have to go out there before she disappears again. Yes, I'm going with you, and together we're going to kill her. Here's your payment for solitude. Prepare yourself and meet me at the ruins as soon as you can. We can't let her slip through our fingers. Quickly, what do you want? She was a stubborn Dunmer. Always had to do everything her way. But she was also the best, bringing in more coin a month than some thieves heist in a year. Gallus trusted her too much and let her get too close. If you want to call it that, yes. Me? I think she was softening him for the kill. Gallus would call her his little nightingale. He was absolutely smitten by her. Greed? Jealousy? Spite? Who can say what drove her to such an iniquitous act? One thing's certain I intend to find out before she draws her last breath. When you're ready, meet me at Snowvale Sank. Well, looks like you're fitting in well down here. I'm supposed to allow you to trade in one of your pieces of guild armor. So what will it be? 
Of course. Otherwise it wouldn't be much of a reward, now would it? Your new piece will enhance your skill beyond that of the original. Trust me. Are you sure? Once I exchange it for you, I'm not taking it back. Unless you want to sell it at a discount, of course. Okay, there you go. Welcome to the cozy... Why don't you take a look at some of my merchandise and we'll see what kind of deal we can make. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard? Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort near Rift. Might consider. Excuse me, my friend.
kill him. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. All right then. This should be good. You don't scare me, you walking dog. Here. I've scouted the ruins and I'm certain Carlia is still inside. No, I found her horse. Don't worry, I've taken care of it. She won't be using it to escape. Let's get moving. I want to catch her inside while she's distracted. Take the lead. Just make certain you keep your eyes open. Carlia is as sharp as a blade. The last thing I need is you blundering into a trap and warning her that we're here. Twenty-five years ago, I was standing outside these very same ruins. Gallus told me to meet here, but he wouldn't say why. When I arrived, Gallus stepped from the shadows. Before he uttered a sound, an arrow pierced his throat. Before I could even draw my blade, her second arrow found its mark in my chest. Carlia was a master marksman, and her greatest weapon was the element of surprise. I was lucky. She missed my heart by mere inches. I staggered away from the ruins and my vision began to blur. It's then that I realized the bitch had poisoned her arrows. Let's get going. I want her head on. You can't hide from me! Say that these ancient Nordic burial mounds are sometimes impenetrable. Hmm, this one doesn't look too difficult. Quite simple, really. I don't know what the fuss is about these locks. All it takes is a bit of know-how. That should do it.
attention here. This place smells of death. Oh! 
One of the infamous Nordic puzzle doors. How quaint. Without the matching claw, they're normally impossible to open. Since I'm certain Carlyle already did away with it, we're on our own. Fortunately, these doors have a weakness if you know how to exploit it. Quite simple, really. Carlyle is close, I'm certain of it. Now let's get moving. and funding Haunting Room Meadery was inspired. To ensure an enemy's defeat, you must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough. Otherwise Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. I'm no fool, Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence. But I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. Interesting. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. But do you know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. Easy. Easy. Don't get up so quickly. How are you feeling? No. I saved your life. My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Had I intended to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer. But I never had a clear shot. I made a split-second decision to get you out of the way, and it prevented your death. I promise you, the thought crossed my mind. The poison on that arrow took me a year to perfect. I only had enough for a single shot. All I had hoped was to capture Mercer alive. Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. 
He needs to pay for Gallus's murder. My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. I wish I knew. The journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. Enther. Gallus's friend at the College of Winterhold. Of course. The only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves' Guild in Riften. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, you need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. Remember. Please, there isn't much time. What is it? He was a scholar, a master thief, and a natural leader. Everyone respected him and followed him without question. It was Gallus who inducted me into the Nightingales, and honed my skills to a razor-sharp point. I owe everything to him. We were... very close. Gallus once said he felt comfortable around me, able to let his guard down. I can't help but think that I'm responsible for what happened to him. I'm afraid not. There are preparations to make, and Gallus's remains to lay to rest. I promise to join you there as soon as I can. Mercer lied to the Guild, branded me a murderer, and slandered my name across his network of contacts. For 25 years I ran, never sleeping in the same place twice and carefully covering my tracks. Mercer doesn't need to die. He needs to feel the cold sting of fate as his life crumbles in front of him and he's hunted by the Guild. I can promise you if it comes to that, and my back's to the wall, I won't hesitate. Remember, speak only to Anthea. Trust no one else.
I will send you off in style. That was exciting. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. I'm sorry, could you describe... 